How's it going everyone? Eddie Martinez here with the Recording Radio and Film Connection. In this video we're going to go ahead and learn how to go ahead and create a Twitter account. So we'll go to twitter.com and begin filling out the information to set up a Twitter account. So I'm just putting in my first, my last name, uh, an email, and of course a password. And then when you're done with that all you need to do is simply hit either enter or sign up for Twitter. Now once you're uh, done with that, of course, it's going to send you to a different page which will allow you to set some information for your profile. So the first thing you're going to want to change is your username. And you want to go ahead and keep it as relevant as possible to uh, all the other networks that you're part of. Uh, I checked this out a little bit earlier. Unfortunately, Eddie Martinez Music was already taken, so I'm just going to do Ed Martinez Music uh, as my Twitter handle. Now I'm just going to go ahead and hit create account and of course they will give you this just to make sure that you're not like a robot or a spammer or something like that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and select through a few of these captures that are right here and then write down what I see. And then I'll begin creating my account. Okay, so we're looking at a preview or a sample uh, view of what Twitter will look like. Uh, so that's what this is right here. Hit next and it'll prompt you to go ahead and begin following people right away. Now this part's a little uh, boring so what I'll do is I'll just kind of fast forward because it asks you to first set up uh, five uh, people to add and then it'll ask you to set up five more uh, but within specific uh, topics or genre as you'll see. Now I specifically chose the music genre myself uh, because I know that I'm going to be sharing music so I feel that it's the most relevant out of all the topics that were available. Now once you've done that now you're able to either set up uh, some contacts or you could just skip that which I'm going to do right now. Uh, essentially what I want to do is I want to go ahead and begin building up my profile. And you got to be also careful about uh, image sizes or file size uh, so we'll run into that in a minute. Uh, right now I'm just uh, copying and pasting a bio that I wrote just for Twitter and remember it has to only be 140 characters which could kind of be a, a little bit of a challenge uh, so uh, make sure that you write this down beforehand so you don't run into any complications. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm also going to go ahead and, uh, and add a new photo since the image that I, I chose was a little too large. So hopefully when, you, when you're doing this entire process you have a few uh, good photos to choose from and hopefully they're a bit smaller but still high quality photos and something that properly represents who you are. Once you're done with that you can just go ahead and hit done and from there you'll be able to move on to the next uh, process of your Twitter account. And here we are. Now we're looking at the Twitter homepage. Right here we could see all the people that we uh, just recently followed and all their tweets. Uh, and it looks like somebody already instantly followed me as I just created this account. And now we're looking at my profile. Okay, And so when you're done, your profile profile will look a little something like this. Going back to the home page. Also what you'll notice is that you'll probably receive an email and this is something that's important that you go back and you check the email account that you created this uh, Twitter account with because uh, you need to confirm that or else your account will become uh, no longer valid after a specific amount of time. So once it's confirmed now everything is fine and you have a fully activated Twitter account. Go ahead and stay tuned for the next video where we explore how to use Twitter and its features and benefits. I'll catch you guys on the next video.